Hey everyone, it's Rick Carson, and we have a you know pretty standard session here that we just recorded at the studio. And I just want to walk through some of our new plugins and some new features. So this video will probably be broken up into a few different sections, but I'm just going to start it off. The first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and route this to the master, just so I have a bus acting as my master bus. And I'm going to pull up the Sontech plugin from Make Believe Studios and Metric Halo. It is wonderful, but I'm biased. The first thing that I want to jump into are the new features on the Sontech plugin. Right away, you'll see not only do you have the Sontech 432 D9D, you'll also see that we have the options panel exposed as well as our transfer function. In the options panel, you now have input and output gain. You also have individual band bypasses, and you have MS enable as well as the individual linking functions for input, output, and your channel linking. When you're in MS, it tends to be helpful to work in with your channels unlinked so you can affect mid and side individually. While doing that though, we left it that if you have your IO link going, that the, the inputs affect the mid and the side and the outputs affect the left and the right balance. So feel free to unlock the input because then you can adjust your mid and side relative levels against each other. So the first thing that I want to do is throw this thing back into stereo, sync these guys all back on up and go ahead, and I'm doing that with option by the way, um, and go ahead and uh, that's not, so the, okay. So the first thing that I want to do is turn off MS and link the channels back up because I'm looking to use this as a stereo EQ. I'm going to add a little bit of top end, probably right around here at 19K, which is just one of my absolute favorites. I'm going to add a little bit of low end, and I'm probably going to add something in the mid range just to make it pop out and so I don't have to work so hard on my channels. I'm utilizing the Sontech more as a, you know, a stereo bus EQ than a mastering EQ. creature habit. So 60, 4K, 19, except for I'm going pretty wide down here on the low end, which I feel like works well for the music that we're working on. We now have a spectrogram that's provided by Metric Halo SpectraFoo, and this can be enabled right here with the SpectraFoo logo. We also ha now have a very beautiful pair of input meters also borrowed from Metric Halo, and they show not only the input and output, but they also show digital peak, PPM, and VU on the individual lines that are happening here, here as well. So tons of information to take in right off the bat. Not only is this a world-class EQ with the Sontech, you now have a bunch of features that kind of make it a pretty versatile suite in and of itself. Even if you're not utilizing the EQ, you know, running it through for the box tone and the transfer function is something that I find myself doing more and more. All of these features can be hidden if you don't want to see them just right here from the logo menu and they're easy to bring back. The next thing to talk about when it comes to the Sontech plugin, as well as all of the other Make Believe plugins and the Metric Halo plugins, is the AB function. You now have the ability to set up one full setting of the processor and then copy it to the second processor. And then after doing so, you can then go and change what you're doing on that processor. And so you have your original settings and your new modified settings, and then you can blend between the two of them. So setting A, and setting B. So if I want to, you know, go ahead and take setting B and, you know, change it so it's a much more dramatic EQ, I can go and start with where I started and then listen as I let the EQ find those spots for me and push up all of the bands in relation to each other.
While something like this may be a little bit heavy handed for a master, on the mix of these raw tracks, it actually sounds pretty great with this much of a boost. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave our blend here. Another thing to note when it comes to the Sontech plugin is it now features a ton of presets from industry leading professionals, including engineers like Chris Geringer from Sterling Sound, Howie Weinberg, Jason Livermore, Jonathan Roy and Joel Wanasak, and many more, including myself right there, Rick Carson. So please go check out the new Sontech plugin. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. We're always available.